like my bread crusted all on the outside. Hi and welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here welcome my name is Simone so today we're going to do a quick and easy bread recipe I'm using my ninja but you can do it by hand Ninja? So, yeah it's called a ninja this so I'm using strong white flour and whole meal I'll probably put about 60% white 40% whole wheat in there and then we've got a packet of yeast which is 7 grams We've got salt, which is about seven to eight grams. And then we've got one tablespoon of coconut oil. I would usually use olive oil, but I don't have any left. And then I've got 300 mils of water. This is from the Ninja as well. Um, tepid water. And I mean, when you are having whole wheat, um, flour usually you need a little bit more water but I can plate by ear now like I said I've got this um, food processor part of the ninja here and we've ninja. got a soft dull um, whatever you want to call it ears you know like the mixer thing so I'm going to measure my flour out so we're now 500 grams of this um, all together so like I said I'm going to put a little bit more in than the whole wheat so I'll say I'll probably actually I'll put in 300 of the white 200 of the whole wheat and I will put the recipe down below so I've got this here I didn't I didn't know if I mentioned but I've got my weighing scales here I put everything directly in here so I've set it to grams I've got my flour so like I said, I'm putting 300 grams of this in. Well, I put 327. <laughs> so, and then I'm gonna take it up to 500. Right, so we're up to 500 now. And then I'm gonna put in my sachet of yeast there we go then the salt's gonna go in the coconut oil just give a bit of a mix with the spoon and then I'm gonna put in the water so there we go, it's done. So I'm gonna put the lid on. So the lid's gonna go on. Yeah, on that one, good girl. And then we're gonna go on the doll. Now, if it's too wet, then it usually sticks to the side, otherwise it just comes away cleanly like that. So yeah, it is quite, sticky so when I leave it to prove I'll probably just put a little bit of flour on it like I said it might be a little bit sticky, sticky. let's have a look sticky I can't get my sticky hands in so there. instead of getting another ball out to let it prove I just leave it in here so I am just going to take a little bit of flour and just put it this is in. what what I like to do if it's just a bit sticky just put it in the but it's feeling great and it's springing back so I don't think I need to give it another need but if you are making this by hand it's literally everything that I did um, but then you just get it on a work survey surface sorry and then you'll just need it like that but obviously on so the turn it off now. on the table you would work oh, it like so that yeah way. you can turn it off so like yeah so look here so you just literally this is how I would need it probably for about 10 minutes or something like that until it's smooth and it kind of has like a bit of a you know it bounces back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this in here now until it doubles in size, in size, sorry. So that you can see what it looks like there. And I'm just gonna cover it with a cloth, leave it in a warm place, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's proved. As you can see, it has grown huge. 
I've greased this. You can shape it and put it like in a round ball or whatever, um, but I just find that it's easier to cut when I use this. So I'm gonna knock it back, get it all out. So, so I'm just gonna, it's hard to do this with my one hand. So I'm just gonna, um, like that, put it in here. And then I'm gonna let it just, I'm just gonna let it rise again for a little bit. So I'm just gonna cover it again with a towel and then leave it said when you're letting it rise again you're looking for it to at least hit the top of the tin or a bit bigger that's what I do put the oven on 220 and then put it in for 25 to 30 minutes it's gonna be bigger sorry about all the noise in the background so I'm just gonna put it in the oven now so there we go 25 to 30 minutes okay so it's done I need a cooling mac really. The way to tell if it's done, it's hot, <laughs> is tap it. And if you hear that it's hollow, it is done. So yeah, there we go. It's best to leave it to cool down before you slice into it. So I'm gonna leave it for a minute and then I'll, well not a minute, but I'll have to leave it for a little bit and then I'll slice into it and show you what it looks like. I'm really hoping that it's cooked all right. I mean, I know it looks a bit funny on top. It's because, you know, when I was doing it with one hand, it's slightly risen more on one side. Um, but hopefully it'll be nice. You want to taste some, don't you? Are you saying hiya? Hey, yeah. Do you want to taste some? You do, don't you? He really loves the bread. We usually make about a loaf. Um, Day, don't we Micah? So I'm just gonna slice it now. I'm really hoping that it's cooked. It's quite crispy. I do like my bread crusty though on the outside. So yeah, it looks nice inside. That's what I'm looking for and it smells really nice. So the proof is gonna be in the, the taste I suppose. Really nice, delicious. Mm. I might say that the, I might say that it's best maybe Hmm. I my husband doesn't really put a lot of salt in. I put in about seven grams of salt, and to me, it might just be a bit too much. So next time, I might adjust it to six grams. <coughs> Want to try some bread, baby? <coughs> yeah. Hmm. <coughs> Look. Try some. What do you think? Mmm. <coughs> Is that nice? Mm. Nice. So there is my loaf. That's what it looks like. <laughs> That's my bread recipe. I'm not like a professional chef or anything. I just wanted to show you how I make bread every day. So yeah, I will leave a de um, down in the description box um, the ingredients and everything. And if you do go ahead and make this bread please let me know how you get on with it and if you have any recipes for bread or any other fun recipes to share then please leave a comment down below so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye